Greetings guys, this is Magnanimas Minds Lectures Online. Today we are doing electrical trade uh, theory N2 and we are dealing with transformers. So I'm just going to summarize uh, uh, the content for transformers or highlight the main points in this transformers uh, chapter or unit. Uh, the first of all, like it's to draw the basic diagram for a transformer. N one is to N two, and then. I2 I1 okay. There's a basic diagram of a single phase uh, transformer where by this side is the primary side and this side is the secondary side then this i1 this is the primary current primary current on the primary side and i2 is current on the secondary side v1 is the voltage on the primary side and v2 is the voltage on the secondary side and then note that uh, v1 is v supply V2 okay. it's V supply or they can see V uh, connected to a supply of that's V1 and then V2 uh, it's usually the load voltage uh, delivered to the load sometimes they will see supplied or they will see supplies that's a v2 usually but uh, read the information given to you properly so that you can know which is which and then uh, we know there are ratios like to determine the voltage and the current whereby v1 over v2 equals to n1 over n2 and we also know that i1 over i2 equals to n2 over n1 this is also equals to i2 over n1 so you can either use this part this part or use this and that to calculate whatever you want with this i1 not n1 it's i1 so it's up to you what you use and we also have the power formula whereby the apparent power is equals to vi and uh, p equals to s cos theta or we can say vi cos theta and then q equals to s sine theta which is vi sine theta so this is the apparent power this is the true power and then this is the reactive this one is due to resistance and this is due to capacitance and inductance and then s is also given by p squared plus q squared and then we also have a power factor pf equals to cos theta this is the formula for power factor and it's also 
p over s cos power factor is the ratio of true power uh, to apparent power so this is it for single phase uh, transformers uh, i hope everything is visible and then for three phase transformers uh, for three phase transformers we've got two configurations whereby one is a delta and the other one it's a y or star so this is delta is y or star configuration and with this one we've got this this and we've got this as neutral So here we've got windings, here we've got windings, we've got windings, and here we've got windings, here we've got windings, there we've also got windings. Okay. And then there's V line and then there's V line. And then there's V phase. So, usually when you are given like values in questions which has to do with three phase transformers, they say V on the primary side is equals to 240. It's always a V line. Unless they state that it's a phase, phase voltage, you take it as a V line. And V line is not always equals to V phase. It depends on the configuration. So, let's take a look at... Uh, the first configuration which is delta then let's see you've got i total and i1 and i2 here with the first configuration if we check the v line v line is the voltage across uh, between these two lines and is the voltage if you check this node and this node it's the same throughout this line so this v line which is between these two lines it's the voltage across uh, this winding which is just a single phase so in this case v line equals to v phase that's a uh, v line and then let's come to the current if you check the current through this line when it gets here it splits to this two phases so because it splits to determine v, uh, I phase, we make use of the following formula. I line divided by square root of 3. It gives you uh, the I phase. And then power equals to square root of 3 V line I line. That's for delta. Now let's go to y then with y let's start with v if you check v line it's between these two lines and if we go through up until this point we realize that v line it's a voltage across two windings so to get a v phase which is the voltage across just a single winding we are going to say v phase equals to v line over square root of 3 that's it for v phase and then it then you've got i1 then if you check the current through the line is the same throughout even when it passes the first winding up until this point so in that case uh, i phase equals to i line and then power is the same square root v l i l so you'd wonder why uh, the power is the same like the formula for the power is the same on both of this it's because in one you're going to divide your what you call 
uh, you divide by square root 3 for the uh, voltage and, and the other you divide uh, square root of 3 for what you call for the phase uh, voltage so let's uh, try to write that down and see how it comes about so let's see for example let's take the delta delta s equals to vi okay and then our vi for the phase is going to be v line and then our i line is going to be square root of 3 i phase this is our i line so this becomes square root of 3 v line i oh sorry i made a mistake like when we make calculations uh, in three phase transformers we consider a single phase so when we calculate our s it's going to be s v for the delta it's going to be v as v phase i phase and then if you do that it's going to give you v line and v phase is the same so it's going to be v phase and then i phase it's i line over square root of 3 but then if you check this it's not the same as this so for it to be the same that's where the square root 3 comes about the square root 3 which cancels out this and then for the y configuration s equals to vi and since we are dealing with just a single phase you're going to have a v phase as v line over square root of 3 and i line equals to i phase so you're going to have i phase but this is not the same as this then that's what the square root 3 comes about to cancel out and you're left with something which is similar to this and then that's it for the formulas that you have to use and then when solving this three phase uh, equations you have to convert like all your line values to phase values and only solve for one phase solving for one phase solves uh, for all phases because all the phases are identical because a three phase transformer it's uh, similar to three single phase transformers thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online Please do subscribe to our, to our channel as well as liking our videos. We would really appreciate that. Do also follow us on our social media handles. On Facebook, we are Magnanimous Minds with a Z, not S. Uh, Instagram, Magnanimous underscore Minds with a Z as well. Uh, on Twitter, we are at Magnanimous Mean One mean one spelled as m-i-n one as a digit thank you